have yourself a very witchy vlogmas day 14. Do you know how to say 14 in Spanish or no? I don't. You don't. We'll have to ask grandpa about that. Uh, busy, 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 busy day painting. So I'm just going to share a little bit of footage with you of Tanner opening these more noisemakers. Tanner, one of his things, I know you know that he loves golf balls, he loves bugs, he loves helicopters, and then noisemakers is like a thing with him and people send him, you'll see, things that make noise for the holidays. So uh, I'll share that with you. I don't have a lot of footage otherwise. I have been painting and painting. I painted until the sun went down and I looked so schlubby. I have to run to the grocery store right now. I'm letting my car warm up because it's just been sitting here and it's like 11 years old. So it needs a little extra love on the startup sometimes on a chilly day. Um, so I thought I would hop on here and say hello. Thank you so much for commenting and liking and sharing these Vlogmas videos. I see you there. I am very behind on answering comments, but I really, I read them all. I appreciate them all. I'm just hauling ass on trying to get my house together before the new year. So I may continue to be behind on that. Um, but I did want to say to those of you who are on my newsletter, I purposely have withheld the newsletter till this morning, till Monday morning, so that hopefully I could time this message uh, that there's a survey in there that I would really love it if you would fill out that survey because it will help me serve you a serving survey uh, let me know what you want more of in 2016 and less of because I am going to be cutting back a little bit on the free content I am going to be raising the prices on my coaching because I started out rock bottom. I've been doing it a couple years though now and it's time that I raise my prices. I've had several clients tell me that I'm undercharging and I just know it's time to do that. So you have a couple of weeks to stockpile coaching calls if you wanna do that. Um, but then also I'm probably gonna pull back just a little bit on the free content so I can have more of a life. <laughs> so it's really important that you fill out that survey so I know what kind of stuff you guys want and I can get really specific with showing up for you. I'm still gonna show up, I'm still gonna make free things, but I wanna know what you like the most, what you like the best, what you like the least, all that good stuff. That would be very helpful. Help me, help you. <laughs> Even if it's just entertaining, I know a lot of you really like the vlogs. I don't know if I'm going to continue this into 2016. I may, I may not. It depends on you. You get to decide, general consensus. And I'm off to buy some groceries in my Kurt Cobain sweater. I actually, most of my clothes are still in trash bags and I am usually covered in dirt and paint these days. So when I found this sweater in the linen closet, I was like, ah, I was so excited. <laughs> I've been wearing this anytime like I get to leave the house and go do something. And then also just like makeup. I just stood in my bathroom for like 15 minutes listening to Robert Ojado and like meditating on the makeup for like a five minute grocery trip. Like it was so unnecessary, but it was, it felt good. It felt like self care. It was like the door was shut. Nobody could get to me. It was just me and Robert as I put my makeup on. <laughs> Okay, this is shaky, I'm sure, because it's handheld. Thanks for putting up with me all through Witchy Vlogmas. <laughs> That's the last one. Who is that? It's a dog. What's his name? Snoopy. That is cute, Devo. So all of our cats have stockings and Tanner has had the same stocking since forever. <laughs> what does Santa put in your stocking, Tanner? Candy. Candy? What else does Santa put in your stocking? Candy and toys. Candy and toys? Santa's cool, dude. What do you got there? This one, it's make, it makes a 
it makes all those sounds. Like what? You want to show me? Tanner graduated this year! He's a graduate! Yay! There's last year's ornament, Baymax. We get a new ornament every year. And here is this year's ornament. We try to get ornaments that represent either something he was really, really into that year or like a pop culture moment that we really, really love. So there's Bolt, there's Happy Feet. Chicken Little, E.T., which, let's face it, for Tanner, that's really just about the moon. Ooh. <laughs> Legend of the Guardians, that's the owls. Tanner has sort of a love-hate relationship with owls. He's scared of them for some reason. <laughs> um, the noise that they make, but then he's also, like, totally intrigued. I personally love Mary Inglebright and that is from when he was three months old, or four. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Then of course it would not be a proper Tanner DeVoe tree without a golf ball ornament. Or, or two. This guy's actually buried, because he's hard. Let's see if we can fix him. He's hard to hang, because he's so heavy, because he's made out of real golf balls, but he is a snowman. Come on, Mr. Snowman. There you go. One of the things, you know, Tanner has his obsessions, and one of them is noisemakers, which is not great for your nerves after a while. <laughs> but he loves it. All of these along... These after a while. After a while, you got these? Yes. People like to buy these for you because they know you love them, and they secretly want to drive your mom insane. What does the other ones do? This one is... Uh... Are they on? <laughs> That one does not do anything. Well, he needs, shut up. He needs batteries, or is he just shut off? Shut up. Turn them on. That is the oldest one we have. That used to be at my mom's house when Tanner was a little baby, and we inherited it, and that's how I wake him up every Christmas morning. <laughs> This one is the bane of my existence. You can probably hear the battery is dying because we have to put a new battery in it every year. At least one. And Tanner cannot resist <laughs> doing this a million times a day. This guy needs a battery too. We got the Harlem Globe Trotters right there. Nope, these are not my famous cauliflower faux potatoes. These are real mashed potatoes because I am on a mission to outdo Hugo's in the Valley in my own mind. Our waiter convinced me to get turkey when I ordered shepherd's pie. He said the turkey was really good. So I agreed to get the turkey. The problem is it was fine. It's not the best thing Hugo's sells. If you go, ever go to Hugo's either on Santa Monica in West Hollywood or in Studio City in the Valley, I recommend the Eggs Blackstone, the Hanging Steak, or these little cauliflower gluten-free dipper things that are fabulous. Any one of their almond milk lattes, they got tons of gluten-free desserts. The Turkey Shepherd's Pie, no. No, no, it's too expensive and it's too special of a moment to be sitting at a restaurant and have your brain think, I'm about to have shepherd's pie! And then eat what was definitely not shepherd's pie. This is shepherd's pie. And I've already tasted it and I can say, I win, I win! I make something better than Hugo's in the Valley, which is a hard thing to do. I ain't saying theirs is bad. I am saying it is not shepherd's pie, <laughs> and that mine is awesome! Have a very witchy vlogmas, everybody! I love you! Peace!